Welcome back guys. In this video, we are going to handle the view of an individual message and also we'll quickly set up our sent route which is not currently displaying any content. So to do that, the first thing that we are going to do is go to our store and create the actions and mutations. Okay, so this is my store. Let's see. We have sent user message received, but we don't have any call to get the sent messages. So we are going to first write that. We have a variable declared here, which is message messages sent. So what we can do is say set. I'm sorry, set messages sent okay this is going to be my mutation and in that uh, what is happening so state i think i have two spaces here okay and the messages state dot messages sent equals messages so this is done simple enough and now we will handle the uh, action name this let's say set user messages sent okay all right now do we require any post data we don't so now obviously we need to define a constant which is going to be our url so in my config i have save chat message url i will call this users messages sent okay this is going to be the variable name and the api is in my api.php file in laravel i have this so i'll just suppose send private message no get private messages sent this is my url so just paste this i need to add this here okay and come over fine so view logger I'll just do this and in our commit this is going to be the mutation right fine this is our action and its mutation which we have written okay our view will be still empty because we are not sorry the vuex will be still empty because you're not calling anything although i think i have sent a message um okay so let's quickly uh, open the component which is going to be sent right so some of the things which we are going to repeat let us first open the inbox I need this so let us copy that okay. then we need computed properties so I'll copy this inside here so I have the PM store okay then we need to call this fun action in our created method so let's just say created sorry it's Space is required <coughs> and we will say this dot dollar store dot dispatch this okay so we are on load calling this function and this should populate the data I have this messages sent array is one I have sent it to receiver is foo which is correct and I have said how are you so very well we are getting the data 
uh, now the listing is very simple we can just kind of you know copy paste the this section ideally um, what is the markup here let me see this is column sm8 i'll just cut that copy this add it here message in calling it messages sent so copy and I don't need this read status that is not important for me and here let us see so this is me and this is a subject so it should be receiver because this is the sent messages so I have sent it to just let us add that heading T head TR TH uh, 3 right sent to subject time all right this should clear things out so we have the sent route ready we have the inbox ready oh i don't have the header right let us copy this uh, let us call this from okay so this is from foo subject is this time ago one week ago and i have sent a message sent to foo how are you so this is done um the send messages part is over now we need to handle the individual messages right so let us go back to our store again now we need a new mutation let us call it set message view okay i have this and then we'll say state dot message equals message so we are doing the assignment and we need to get that message by id so let us say called get private message by id I will pass the ID so that you know we can send it through post. So we will have some post data. Now time for our URL. Let us see in Laravel. Oh, that's kind of strange. Get private message. Oh no, I have it. Uh, post data get private message. So this is the URL. Config variable called um, let's say get private message by id and this is the url okay um, copy that where is it add it here and then I'm basically going to assign this here and this is done. What is the name of the mutation? Set message view. So I'm calling a post request to this URL and this mutation will be um, triggered. Fine. I think that's kind of what we need to do. Now, as far as I remember, in our pre, uh, initial setup, we have this PMS slash ID, which means we need to pass the ID, which I will get in the you know, route params, right? So, two is first go to our inbox. Where is our subject? This is our subject, right? So, in this TD, we need to add that link. And...
in brackets name pm view that's the name which we have given right yes pm view and we are going to pass params pm id because here oh this is id so this should be id will be message dot id let us see okay this is correct we have this and okay we haven't handled this one so copy in our sent uh, component we paste it here and we have this so this is pms slash one if you see the id is one which is correct and in my inbox i have pms is two which is also correct so now it's just about handling the content of the uh where is it message view right so again quickly we need to pick up this import paste it here computed and created i will need both so i'll copy okay this is correct here things will change right um what we need to do is in created okay i'll keep this the function will change <coughs> this is my function name so i'll do this and i need that id so this i'll get inside this dollar route params dot id um yes so this is how i'm going to pass the id of the private message okay and let's see if we are getting that in our view x so i'll just pick it up here commit all inbox okay again commit so right now i should already have a message uh let us refresh we'll, we'll get a better understanding so now the message object is empty and when i click on it my payload okay fine payload is fine message object is now this particular message so the only thing which we now need to do is display the message right so what is the markup um i'll keep it simple for now where is my content we'll put an h3 and we'll do pm store message dot sender email no oh, sorry first i'll show the subject so this is going to be the subject then from copy this and sender dot this is message not sender sorry pm store message subject pm store message sender email so this will give me the from okay and what we can do is i think i also have to show the created time right so add a span okay give it a class pull right in that i'll change this to created at <clears throat> sorry and then in a div as content sorry message let's keep it message yeah we will show the actual message all right so we have it right and if we go to inbox i need to see this message with subject i am fine so this is the subject um and from foo a week ago hey i'm fine how about you and i go to send i have sent this message and this is correct now 
if you see there is one thing which I would ideally like to do now here we have how are you I click here you can see for some time there was that previous message I want that to be you know, kind of destroyed when I'm in cleared and that's why I will use a destroy event okay so str oh y d destroyed I think I got that right oh, yeah DSDR -YD. destroyed this dollar store okay and dispatch now I haven't written this function but I'll need to do that clear message view okay um, where is my function yeah I'll commit okay uh, this is going to be a function where I'm not going to make any HTTP call commit and I will uh, what we should name it clear message view okay and so I need to write this mutation here I'll just have the state and at I'll do state dot message equals and I'll just copy everything again so what is going to happen now is when I kind of move from this component so I am in the sent URL now I'm here I don't see that previous message I am fine I go here how are you I don't see that previous message you see if I go here and I kind of comment it out let us refresh okay so this is how are you I go here sorry that's the same message and then I go here so I was able to see that how are you and that is the reason I'm just kind of you know clearing it out on the destroy event so that you know it doesn't keep itself in memory it's basically emptying it out from the vuex so uh, right now I'm here message object is this I come back to inbox and you can see it's empty so yeah that's uh, a new thing which we have learned which is how to use the destroy so if you have any particular you know, setup to do when you know the component is getting uh, cleared or unloaded from the route you can use that and yeah so we have handled the um, you know view of a message and also the sent so in the next video we should handle the sent pm where we are going to use a new library called view multi select to get the list of all the users so we will set the subject select the users and sorry select one user and then send him the private message Thanks for watching guys, if you like the video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.